we on? We're good? <laughs> All right. Wow. Can we get a thumbs up to let us know that we are up and live and there's somebody there able to hear us? Nobody's in there? Tell me when you see somebody. Someday I'll get comfortable with this, but right now. We do? It's working? Can we get a thumbs up? <laughs> Can you hear? Can you hear us okay? Any comments? There's one hi. Hi. Can you hear? Give us a thumbs up if you can hear me. I tell you, this electronic stuff, Justice, is going <laughs> to age me more than anything else. All right. We're there. Fantastic. Welcome to our program tonight. We're going to be talking a little bit more about knees, about the lower pelvic area, and uh, some issues that people have had. Thank you for coming and for being a part of the program. Please share it with others. Let's see how many people we can get on online. We're going to read some wonderful customer reviews. Oh, gee, what a beautiful day. And thank you for some of the phone calls that, that I received today and the support that we've had and the experiences that, that you've shared. I, I look forward to, uh, to getting some of those customer reviews and being able to share them with the rest of the Solar Size family. Justice, can you lean over and turn on that light right there so they can see a little bit better? It's right, at, yeah, hold on one second. It's right here. All right, thank you. Justice is going to be taking over for us, and if you have any questions, feel free to write the questions in. Justice will pass them on to me, and we'll have a chance to answer them. So let's go over some of the customer reviews first. And then we've got some good ones. And then we'll read some of the questions and feel free to, to enter in some of yours too. Solar size, I gotta tell you guys, if you could just hear some of the, the phone calls that I get from people and the experiences that they are having and the results that they are getting, um, there's, it's really humbling. And, and I'm really grateful to be a part of this. There is nothing like it. Solar size is absolutely incredible. I, every year that goes by, I'm more and more passionate about it. I know that there's more and more we can learn about it and more and more that it's doing for so many people. We have resistance. It's not just a soft bounce rebounder or mini trampoline. It's a solar sizer and it does have movement, but it also has resistance and that's what builds up muscle mass and the bone density and moves the lymphatic fluid. I left the balance bar off. I'm going to put the balance bar on, but I wanted to share because some people were asking, saying that the video demonstrating how to put the balance bar on wasn't as clear as they'd like it to be. So I'm going to start here, and this is the streamlined balance bar. The half fold balance bar is just the same. You just have three pieces on top. You want to put the top part together first, and then start with, with the bottom pieces. You've got the, this is called the sleeve. This is going to go over the leg. You want to take the, the push pin, push it in, line it up with the hole. And when you get to the hole, it just snaps right in like that. You can do the same thing with the other one. So I hope you can see this OK. You push that push pin in and just slide it up to the hole. And you're going to t put the top piece on, and I'm going to show you how to put it on the unit. And you do the same thing, push pin, hole, and the other push pin in the hole. And this next part's really important. The cellar sizer in the balance bar is designed so that it has movement. And you already understand the reason for the movement, so that we can challenge both our dynamic and static balance but we don't want the bar to come off. And so we build sleeves so that they slide over the leg so it's not gonna come off. If you need it, it's there. But when you lift the unit up, you want to have the hinge where it folds in half in the middle of the balance bar. If you have a half full balance bar, you're gonna use the leg to the right of the hinge. 
you'll skip the first leg and go to the second leg to the left of the hinge. On this one, since this is streamlined balance bar, we're just going to take these feet off. And what we want to do is evenly, and I'm going to put it this way so you can see this time, we want to take that balance bar and toward the bottom or in between, we, it has movement. So you can bend it or open it. And you're going to slide it right up to the very tip of both the legs. That's the way to do it. Because then you can slide the bar on equally on both sides. And then I just drop it down and it just slides right through. So, and if it doesn't, just give it a little stomp if it's new and it's just breaking in. But it's really very quick and easy to do. All right. Luann writes, <coughs> I purchased this cellar sizer from David Hall about six months ago. I had problems for a horizontal abdominal incision hysterectomy, ah, horizontal, <laughs> for five years. David taught me step by step how to use the cellar sizer to strengthen the area and break up the scar tissue. I had dramatic results within the first week. What I thought could be a worsening lifelong problem is gone. And we're going to talk about how we can work that area of the body in, in just a little bit. Amber writes, I wanted to share a little inspiration for today. I know I have commented on some of the posts in here at times about my husband. Here is my 90-year-old husband on a cellar sizer. We are on vacation at my parents' home at the moment. My mom just received her cellar sizer. My husband on my mom's new cellar sizer. So there's pictures that we'll have to post with this too. We've had a cellar sizer for about 12 to 13 years and absolutely love it. My husband uses ours daily. So encouragement to anyone in here that no matter what your age, you can do this, exclamation points. He loves it and he has had two knee replacements. Both of his surgeons told him years ago that rebounding is an excellent form of exercise and low impact on the knees. So no matter what your age or shape, it is possible to get a great form of exercise every day. I am so thankful for my husband's health. He takes zero meds and rarely gets sick. I feel a lot of that is from the benefits of daily cellar sizing and his daily morning supplement routine. So I hope this can be an encouragement to you today. Start small and work your way up. You can do this. Have an amazing day. Thank you, Amber. And Darren writes, something I did not mention is that my balance is getting better now. And 12 years ago, going on 13, I had knee operated on. And no matter what I did, my balance just was not there. My knee was what was causing my imbalance to occur. Now, with this said, I have more balance in my karate moves with my lower body than I've had in going on 14 or 15 years. This was always my challenge with any martial arts because my balance just sucked the big one. Anyway, my balance has improved greatly these days and my back kicks are working well. Now some other interesting news. <clears throat> I've had difficulty putting on strength muscle and I am putting on more weight than I, than I have been able to keep on for months with my ulcerative, coli ulcerite, ulcer ulcerative colitis than I've been able to do in months. So with my vegan diet, or mostly vegan diet, I seem to be doing very well with a combination of cellar size and my diet. And I have almost no problems with my UC. Ul I'm having a hard time with that word ulcerative colitis at all these days. I've had no problems for over two months now and no pharmaceutical drugs, which my specialist does not yet know. The best part is no side effects and I feel great. Darren, thank you for sharing that. And just think of what it means when you're on that cellar sizer every day, if you have stress or tension or blockages in the body, and you're just gently moving up and down, helping to reduce or get rid of inflammation, opening up circulatory channels, 
and communication channels through the entire body. Well, the body is going to be able to function at a higher level. It doesn't take that long to achieve that result. And then beyond that, of course, we can do a great deal more. But if you only did two to three minutes or three to five minutes of this solar sizer, you've done, I believe, the most important thing we can do for this physical body every day, which is to open up the circulation, the communication, help get rid of the inflammation, and, 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 and improve overall strength of the body. Kathy Wright. I bought this solar sizer about six months ago. Before, I had that, before that, I had a cheap Walmart rebounder. I have noticed a lot of changes in my body. I am 50 years old and have suffered hormonal night sweat, and they have pretty much diminished. My knees are way stronger and pain-free after certain activities that I do. My entire body feels toned and strong. I've never felt this way, and I have exercised quite regularly all my life. I would highly recommend a solar sizer for anyone wanting to improve their health and body. And of course, most of you are already part of the solar size family and you understand that, but feel free again to, to share these with those you care about. Okay. Marisol writes, I've been rebounding for a decade. My mom gave me a trampoline for my birthday that she got off of a rebounding studio that had closed. My brother visited me last weekend. He stepped on it and said it was awful and told me to buy a cellar sizer. I bought it then and there. I got it a couple days ago and oh my goodness, I cannot tell everyone the amazing difference this is. I love it and she capitalizes it. Want to rebound all day long. I have a genetic auto-inflammatory thing that I wish would get better. I'm hoping the cellar sizer will be better for that than my old funky one. And please feel free to give me a call if I can be of any, any help or offer any suggestions in that. Okay, and this one just came this yesterday, I think. <laughs> um, I met this, this family, talked to them a little about the, the cellar sizer, and actually they were not too far from my, it's, it's a funny story, my, uh, my warehouse. So I took it over to them, set it up for them, and they say, thank you so much for the red carpet service. Today it delivered door to door and demonstrated so well. So I had a chance to demonstrate them. One more of the babies crying when we stop, so we have to take turns. And those kids, those kids just did not want to get off that cellar sizer. <laughs> All right. So thank you for sharing it. They're good people. Okay. Now, I've got a, one of our customers, a longtime friend, um, a professor from what was known as Dixie College previously. It's a tech college now. He, um, he left his professorship, and I think I told you about him. He had cancer. He uses the cellar sizer every day. He started incorporating it within a, a whole fitness program with regards to pickleball. And so he teaches people these movements on the cellar sizer with pickleball. And he has some of the top 10 ranked pickle, the semi-professional pickleball players now, I guess, um, it, throughout the country. And they're learning on his program. Well, his, he's now known as, as Coach Geddes. But he has a website called coachescornerpb.com. And he writes, the David Hall Cellar Sizer is the ultimate exercise equipment for fitness enthusiasts of all ages and conditions. With this ability to strengthen the entire body, increase circulation, and improve overall well-being, the Cellar Sizer is a versatile, effective, and easy-to-use piece of equipment that can help anyone achieve their fitness goals. The Coach's Corner Daily 20-Minute Workout is a game-changer for pickleball players of all levels. As the corner of the coach's corner and a certified pickleball coach for both amateurs and professionals, I highly recommend this workout to anyone looking to improve their physical and mental performance on the court. The results speak for themselves, and our training programs and resources can help players achieve their goals and reach their full potential. Visit coachescornerpb.com to learn more. And, uh, 
Thank you, Brian, for sharing that. Thank you all for your wonderful videos. Can I please ask that you would ever consider putting all the wonderful stretching exercises you do onto the Mr. Rebounder app? I would love to do a stretching routine by following the app because I can't remember the exercises myself. It would be great if you could put a range of stretching routines on the app from beginner to advanced, along with the amazing workout routines. That would make the app even more fabulous. I read that, I read this last time, I read it again because for those who don't know, we have all those movements now on the Mr. Rebounder app and they're part of the, the membership. So you don't have to pay extra for them. If you wanna know what those movements are, you go into the Mr. Rebounder app and you just hit create your own workout and then when you go to add movements you'll have a whole list of all the different movements and there's it's like 65 of them now but a lot of them have the stretching routines already included in it so you can now put together lots of different programs on your own app and save them to your own personal fitness library. All right, let's see. Oh, this is Claire. Okay, Claire wrote, okay, let's keep reading this. I have ADHD, which makes it a challenge to do any exercises on a regular basis. Simply due to lack of motivation, disorganization, distractibility, overwhelm, and poor memory. I bought a cellar sizer at least four years ago and I've only used it occasionally on and off, mainly because I didn't recognize I had ADHD or how to work ADHD coach every week and a virtual trainer who also had ADHD and is helping me gradually build a consistent, gentle exercise routine without getting overwhelmed. She has worked with me to make sure all the exercises can be done on the cellar sizer. As a result, I've been doing the health bounce for one minute first thing in the morning and for two minutes every hour during the day. I work from home. I can already feel the benefit in my mood because the dopamine release caused by exercise, ADHD brains are low in dopamine, but also because I'm finally using my cellar sizer regularly, so I no longer beat myself up about n not using it, which itself, which is itself exhausting. Also, because the cellar sizer does everything at once, cardio, stretching, resistance, I'm not overwhelmed about trying to juggle and incorporate different exercises to cover each of those things. Plus, cellar sizing is the only activity that doesn't make me feel stiffer and more achy after doing it. I'm currently waiting for a balance bar conversion kit and the Mr. Rebounder play-in wireless monitor to arrive, and I'm really excited. I can't thank you enough for everything you and your team do to educate and promote life-saving health by using the Cellar Sizer. Love and blessings to you and your family and the whole Cellar Sizer family. Claire, thank you, Claire. That's special. Well, mm, wow. We got some other good ones. Let's read some questions and answer any questions that may come. Yes, Justice. Um, this isn't exactly a question, but this is something I thought you'd want to know. Um, oh. Oh, okay, Mark, Marge was one of the phone calls today. What a lady, what a, what a patient lady. We, are, we had a challenge with her, her balance bar. It may have been a problem with the welding. So she's getting, a, uh, she's getting the conversion kit. So it's gonna change her half full balance bar into the, the new uh, streamlined balance bar. Yes. Oh, yes, that's in the questions. Thank you. And Jess, if you want to take that Dyna ball out of the yes. cover there, we'll use that. And then, awesome. Uh, Debbie, Debbie says, please talk about plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis, you bet, we will. We'll talk about plantar fasciitis because it's initially when you get on a cellar sizer, if you have a weakness or if your tissue is not very flexible, cellar size is going to start to increase the flexibility and it can take a little bit of time. But when you're cellar sizing your foot, if you're barefoot, 
you have socks on or soft soled slippers like I've got, then your foot can actually move to support your natural alignment. And it takes time, but the fascia becomes more flexible again and it's in a healthier state. But initially you may notice some weaknesses in your foot because you're, you're helping the foot to have movement that maybe it's not used to or hasn't had for, for quite some time. All right. It would be nice if you had more videos for knee replacement patients wanting to recover. More videos. Okay, well, we're going to talk about the knees in just a moment. We'll talk about the front part of the knee. Often with knee replacements, you lose the ligaments on the, the side of the knee. You're more dependent upon the appliance. So if you've already had a knee replacement, I can show you some techniques that can help to strengthen the supporting muscles um, surrounding the knee both in the, the front part of the knee as well as just I I improving, well, that circulation to that area. We still need to create osteoblastic activity so the bone around the appliance doesn't deteriorate. And cellar size helps to create that weight-bearing activity, but without a jarring effect. So that, that helps promote healing too. So we'll talk about that. Angelia writes, David, help me with tennis elbow. On workouts, please. All right, you want to throw me that? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, you go. All right. Okay, we talked about this last time. Tennis elbow, carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, it, it can help with shoulders too. This is a Dynaball. This is called Powerball. You can get it as a Dynaflex on Amazon. If you ever notice ligaments or tendons, and I, I had issues with it when I was fighting with a jackhammer all day, and it, nothing would help. And then I started cellar sizing with this and doing specific movements. And within a month, it was better. And I was so grateful because that can be painful. But you usually have a little red string you can pull and you can get it going. I'm going to go to the carpet here and get it going that way. I just, thanks, Justice. Ran it on the carpet. So you get it going. It's a gyro. You'll hear it get going in a moment. There it goes. Okay, so you're, you're doing this. This is great in and of itself, but when you add the cellar sizer, you are pumping fluid. You're pumping circulation up and down, and you're causing the actual tissue. Every cell, all those cell membranes, those ligaments, those tendons, those muscles, those, they're gently being massaged. And the increase of circulation with the movements up and down, it just, it just healed it. So I hope that helps people with, that are noticing any of those these issues. It takes a little practice to get it going, but it's really helpful. Thank you, Justice. Tammy says, I have a question regarding legs. My calf and hamstrings always seem to be tight to the point where it causes pain in my hips and back. I've tried bent over, shoulder, back, hamstring, frame stretch, and that seems to help for a little while, but then everything gets tight again. Is it another way to target tightness in the back of the legs? And yeah, yeah, the, first of all, the, we want the baby bounce. We want to warm up the tissue, that's first. And as we're moving up and down, all the cells, that's just gently expanding and contracting. And that helps to, what was that? Um, we have a question in the show, she was just wondering what type of ball you just used. Oh, it's called a Dynaflex or a Power Ball. You can get them on Amazon, just like a Dynaflex. They've got a number of different types, but that, um, yeah, that's, that's what does it. Okay, so yes, the bending over one, where you bend up and then sta you know, stand up, that's, that's really helpful. But also leaning. If you can lean a little bit and lift your, your toes up and then gently bounce. It may look funny, but... It's, it, it really works. It helps to loosen up those hamstrings. The gentle twisting right here can also be very helpful. There's another one that will work the back and the whole front part of the leg, which is also important. And that's this gentle movement up and down where you take the leg. You can start off just rocking side to side. You're pushing down with the heel to your foot as you rock. And then from this point, you just take that right leg, cross it in front of the left. 
And as you cross in front of the left, if you want a little bit more stretch, you just lift your shoulder up. And this here, this movement, helps to stretch that whole side. And there's, you're, you're gently bouncing at the same time, so you're helping to loosen up. And of course, the ski patrol, whippy ski patrol, which is a little more advanced, does that on both sides. And that's just the technique side to side like this. So this twisting where is it just in the hip socket area. Also very helpful for helping the muscles that wrap around the upper thigh. It just helps to loosen all those as well as helping with the hips. So those are excellent movements. And the objective is to do that enough so you have enough flexibility. You never have to deal with the issue or the problem. And yes, once everything's warmed up, you can just bend over, rock back, stand up, gently bounce up and down. That's another good one to help increase flexibility. Yes, Justice. Um, Phil Hackney says, how to treat medical medial stress syndrome? That's in the, yeah, that's, that's that movement that I was just showing you. That's right in this area here where you're, you're just stretching that whole, that whole area. But, okay. Okay, is 10 minutes enough? What's the point of negative return? 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Gary, I don't think we have a negative return like we do with typical exercise. Yes, when typical exercise, you exhaust the muscle or you tear down the muscle or it, it's too, it may be too intense. Cellular size, the only thing I've noticed when I've done bouncing around for two and a half days when I used to do trade shows is I just lose a lot of weight. I just lose too much weight. I could lose eight to 10 pounds within a weekend and lose my voice. And it took over a month to get my weight back. So I couldn't do more than, oh, sometimes I would do two trade shows, but I regretted that. It just, it just burns a lot of calories. But beyond that, um, it's wonderful. You build up to it. It's, it's great. Uh, it's not something, I mean, you can do it every day, several times a day. It's not like you have to give, you're not tearing down to build up. That's the big difference. You're taking the weakest of your cells and all you're doing is constantly exposing them to a little bit more of weight. And the cells just respond by fortifying their membrane with more protein. They don't want to rupture, but you're not limiting the effect. So you're doing that on everything. All you, <laughs> you think of typical exercise, it's generally limited to certain muscle groups or body parts or functions. It's, it's different. It's totally different. This is completely different than typical exercise. I think one of the best exercises I, um, or machines out there was the one that, um, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of it. Chuck Norris used to um, promote quite a bit. But it was just still using muscles. Cellular size doesn't do that. You can focus on muscles, but, but you're also working every other cell of your body all at the same time, the total gym, total gym. Yeah, so this is, I think is better for other reasons. Um, but it's, uh, I mean, when you're, you're cellular sizing, you're back flushing valves. You're challenging your balance and equilibrium and your timing and your dexterity. You know. there, it's, it's unlike typical exercise, but it's also working the fascia. And there, how do you get a skin cell to do a push-up? You have to put it under weight. How do you do that? You cellular size. Yes, Jessica. Um, Michelle Booth asks, is it important to stretch afterwards like typical exercise? No. No. In fact, did she say afterwards? Yes. No, actually it'd be better to cellular size before you do any other activity because the movement up and down on the cellular sizer primes the body, it prepares the body so you'll have a better experience in whatever it is you're going to do, whether it's martial arts, whether it's yoga, Pilates, doesn't matter. Cellular size creates a balance in the body that will help you have a better experience at other things you do. And if you try to touch your toes before you cellular size, and then try to touch your toes after you've cellular size, you'll see how much more flexible you are. Well, that flexibility is happening everywhere. It's throughout the entire body, not just 
from touching your toes? Okay, good questions. Oh, so you hear so much about the importance of weightlifting as you age, especially. Can the cellar sizer take the place of strength training? Absolutely, without question. It's all I do. I've, do, I've done it for 30 plus years. And, and again, I'm not, I'm not what I was when I was in my 20s. You guys have all seen this. But it, it, you know, there's, I don't lift weights. It looks like I've been pumping weights today, my own. But, um, but, but it's, it's, you know, I, yeah, guys, again, I'm, I'm 67 years old in a couple months. So I'm not what I was when I was 30, but I'm, it's not bad. I'm, I'm actually embracing getting older because I don't feel it and I don't act it. I look a little older. Yeah, I get that. But, but I'm, I haven't slowed down. I think, I think we bought in to the idea that as we age, you see these pictures of what you're supposed to look like when you're 20, when you're 30, when you're 40, when you're 50, when you're 60. Yeah, if we, I, I guess if we have an average lifestyle that doesn't incorporate cellar size, yeah, okay, we can look more like that. But what is our potential? We don't know what our potential is because we've never challenged it. If we cellar size every day, that's every single day, you're bouncing up and down. You're putting weight on everything. Your body's got, has, it has no choice. It's going to adapt. Your balance is going to have to improve. Your circulation is going to get better. You can challenge the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knees, the hips, the shoulders, the back. We don't have to go through all the symptoms of the aging process. We can help lower elevated cholesterol and triglyceride levels through cellar size. We can help balance our sugar levels in our body with cellar size. It, it, we're still learning a lot, a lot more about it. But it, as long as we have good circulation, then our body should function very well. Kind of like a car. As long as it has good oil that's placed in the engine, it should last a long time. But if you didn't put good oil in or you didn't put enough oil in, then obviously it's going to wear down faster. Well, the cellar sizer is like oiling every, all of our bones, our joints. It's increasing circulation. So yeah, I kind of feel passionate about that. I think, I think we've got more to discover. What do you think, Justice? Yes. Okay. I've been experiencing what feels like arthritis in my left hip joint. Is there any specific moves that I could use to help relieve the pain? Left hip joint. Yeah. Yeah, it's supporting. It's so important that we target the supporting muscles and ligaments surrounding the joints. And that's why my 10 minute a day routine and the routines that we have on the Mr. Rebounder app generally will focus on different movements that address most all of the body parts, even though the whole body is working. We focus more on the hips simply by doing the gentle movement up and down to begin with um, increasing circulation. And I want you to listen how quiet the cellar sizer is. Okay, he doesn't have to be really squeaky. So gentle movement up and down, and that warms up the tissue. Then by putting our feet apart and rocking side to side, now we're working the hips, the muscles in the hips. And that's real important. You take your fingers, stick them directly in the hip muscles, you'll feel them. They're really working. And they're going to get stronger, they're going to get more flexible, and you're going to get more circulation. As they get stronger, they help support that hip joint more effectively. Then just doing the gentle twist. That's simple. Most of us can do that. Wonderful technique, because now you're working the smooth muscles. Something typical exercise doesn't do. You're taking the colon and the intestines, you're putting them through a little washing machine effect every day. But what's that doing to the liver and the kidneys and the spleen and the gallbladder and the pancreas and the adrenals? As you're gently moving up and down side to side, you're massaging your internal organs. So again, most people feel like a whole different person within two to three weeks. You get enough resistance that you help to move things. If it was too soft or too sluggish, you still I'm sure you're going to get some benefit. It's not going to be the same, but you'll get benefit. Okay. Um, oh, and other, other movements for the hips uh, include the hip rock, of course, side to side, and then the gentle the rocking or the ski patrol, we call it the ski patrol, or 
the more advanced ski patrol. And that, that's the same kind of burn feeling you would have if you were on the slope. So that helps you get the knees in shape, thighs. And those are great, great exercises for the hips too. Can the stomach exercises be done when there is diastasis recti? Okay, that's, that's a separation of the, the muscles, often very common, um, especially among women who've had children. And most, you don't wanna do stomach crunches and things like that initially because you wanna work from the inside out. You wanna work on the underlying muscles because that's going to give the support you need before we ever work on the, the exterior muscles. And so some of the techniques that I've taught involve sitting down. So just as if you move the camera down a little bit, I'm going to sit down right here. And if you can, this, this will help um, with, for women who've had hysterectomies as well. Um, or, um, yeah, just the whole lower abdominal region, internal as well as external. If we can take our hands, put them by our hips to help support our back when we start off. Now we can regulate the amount of weight we put in that area. And of course, I'm obligated to say, if you have a health condition, consult with your doctor first. But this is one of the techniques that I teach doctors is you keep your back straight, lean back slightly, you can control the amount of leverage. So be in tune with your body and how it feels. And then we start to just gently bounce up and down, just like that. As we get stronger, yes, then we can take our hands away and we tilt backwards slightly. This is all being done from the inside out. Very gentle movement. You're putting weight over and over on the fascia, all of those underlying muscles and connective tissues. And so as we get stronger, then we can lift up one leg and now you're leveraging the weight right there in the lower abdominals where everybody wants to work when the leg gets tired okay lift up the other leg you don't have to push hard play on it it'll work hard on you eventually you lift up both legs and this is all being done now more on the outside and the inside as you continue to get stronger then you can work both sides and then in and out and now you're working the more of the surface muscles and that's just simple way to to really target and work that area but do it in a way that they're graduated movements it's all <laughs> thank you justice the graduated movements and they're all working from the inside out we're not just targeting or doing movements that work surface muscles. The increase of weight is on every cell membrane. I don't think there's anything that can be as effective, but yes, Justice. Um, I hope it's, I'm pronouncing it right. Yvonne says, is there any news that can help with hip, 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 hip. Spell it. KP, um, the psoas muscle. Okay, KYPH. Not sure what that is. KYPH. KYPHOSIS. We're gonna have to look that one up because I'm, I'm not familiar with it. If somebody else knows, please comment, and I'll, if I know what it is, I can. Neck. Oh, the neck. Oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, posture in the neck. We're going to talk about that in just a moment because I, I believe we've got another question on it. And if not, I'll come back because yes, we can do movements taking time, takes time, but where those muscles and ligaments which support the skeletal system can, can start to support it in a better alignment. And again, it's just, it's, it's one thing to, to move, but it's another thing to move and then bounce so that the muscles are flexing around the new alignment. I love working with chiropractors because they generally get it. Um, all right. Do you have any specific exercises for menopause? I'm asking on behalf of my mom. She bought your cellulose. I loved it. 
And she was wondering if you know of any exercises that would help her. Thank you. You know, we've had reports, um, and it can vary, but again, the gentle movement up and down to begin with, to warm up the tissue, increase circulation, reduce inflammation. Keep in mind that when you're cellar sizing, everything is weightless weight, weightless weight. So your, all your homo hormones, the thyroid, the adrenals, the entire endocrine system is doing this and then this, this and then this. So we're literally creating, I believe, not just physical balance, but chemical balance through the entire body all at the same time. And that's something we, we need more research on. But this gentle movement right here is great. The hip rock, great. Lift your shoulders up and down. It just really gets more movement in the back and the vertebral joints as well. And then this, tw just this gentle twisting. I think this is the second most important physical activity right here that we can do on a solar sizer every day for a lot of reasons. Okay. Um, hope that helps. Is it safe to train during the period days? Oh, yeah. I mean, on a, on a cellar sizer. I don't know about other things, but uh, yeah, be careful. I mean, I, I don't know, again, if health in those health conditions can be different, but cellar size is not as stressful on the body, but be sensitive to your body. Um, but yeah, most, most um, my wives have always, I say wife, my first wife would pass away and my current wife. They've, um, they've often cellar size, and my daughters as well. Saved. And can bouncing help with cholesterol reduction? One of the things Dr. Morton Walker talked about in his book, Jumping for Health, was how it helped to lower elevated cholesterol and triglyceride levels and help to lower high blood pressure, helping to open up valves and circulation, helping to mitigate hardening of the arteries, the number one degenerative disease that so many of us have to deal with. And one of the things that I found and discovered from cellar sizing it was that what it does to the blood cells themselves, so instead of being sticky, where it's hard for the heart to pump sticky blood cells through the capillaries and they, they can shrink and uh, we lose circulation of body parts and functions, and then they get weaker. But when we cellar size every day, we help to break up sticky blood cells. And we've got some incredible stories, and I think that's one of the, the greatest benefits of cellar size is helping to maintain good circulation through the body and healthier cells. Yes? Um, yes. Jay Cracklin said, okay. I've neglected to clean my cellar sizer for a few years, and the coils are dusty. Is it okay to wipe with dry or wet cloth and use the oil? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> These things are built like tanks. I mean, they're, this was 19 years old, and it's dirty. I mean, I, I've got, you can see the oil and the stains and everything, and I don't want to sit on it in a pair of white pants. But, um, but yes, you can go out and you can take a scrub brush, some Dawn dishwashing soap, because it cuts through any grease, and um, water bucket, scrub it down, hose it off, some people have taken it to car washes, and they'll use the car wash. They turn it upside down, scrub it with a car wash, and spray it off with a car hose. Good idea. I've done it. Um, so yes, you can clean that off, and then just put some new oil on it. Good question. Um, had purchased a rebounder in 2020. On February 7th, I had a tibial plateau fracture surgery. OK, shin bone. Call that. Um, this month, my surgeon gave me the green light to go on the rebounder. I'm doing it intuitively. That's a good idea. <laughs> Some ideas or exercises will help me big time. Maybe a program for rehabilitation post fracture surgery once we have the surgeons okay will be helpful. Okay. We talked about. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, you're going to do something else here. All right. We're talking about this area of the knee in here. And rocking side to side is how we warm up that tissue. Very, very good movement. Eventually, doing this movement right here is very, very helpful. Now, for the ligaments and the tendons, 
um, in that area than he. One of the things that I notice is extremely beneficial when I ripped up my <laughs> my meniscus in a, a number of places was when I would put my hands on a table or a chair. We'll see if, if this works. And <laughs> yeah, okay. And I'd bend down. I don't trust this thing. Jump up and come down again. Jump up. I can't put a lot of weight on this thing. Um, I'm afraid it will break. But you just bend over and jump up and come down. And I'll try to do it over here. But it's, it's kind of like this. And you want to be on the side of the handle. But that, that routine helped me to the point where it was fun to be able to go to Walmart, which I still do, and go at the very bottom shelf when everything looks like it's gone. And I can bend at the very bottom and look at the very back and stand up again. So you can build and develop that flexibility in the knee. Yes, Justice. Um, one thing has two questions. The yeah. first one is, can it help O-S-T-E-O-A-R-S? Osteoarthritis. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the movement up and down, the lymphatic system holds a negative pressure. <clears throat> Circulation is critical. Well, when you start... The lymphatic system, which circulates the fluid throughout the entire body, it is the vacuum system of the body. It doesn't have a heart to keep it circulating. It's dependent upon pressure changes. So when we get on a solar sizer and we start to move up and down, weightless weight, weightless weight, over and over, millions of one-way valves start sucking. Well, within a few minutes, we prime the body with all this suction. And if you ever have a cold or an allergy or stuffy in the head and you get on that cellar size, you move up and down, you can feel it just clear. It just clears the stuffy head. Yeah, you may have a runny nose, depending on what you have, but, but it clears the blockages. So that moving up and down is breaking up the blockages. It's opening up the circulation, priming the body. I tell people when they're getting ready to go to bed and they, they want to have a better sleep or sleep easier without tossing and turning. If you put your fingertips straight down and you start to move up and down until you can feel the pressure at the tips of your fingers and then relax the moment you feel that, then just relax your shoulders, back, and buttocks. Well, that's breaking up stress tension so the body can relax. Once we feel that those pressure changes, we've really helped to open up that lymph system. It's starting to circulate. If we're dealing with osteoarthritic conditions, the moment we feel that pressure, we're getting the circulation pumping through the body. That's when we want to move the bones and the joints and the different areas of the body so that we can help increase that circulation. As we strengthen the supporting muscles and ligaments, we're able to um, better provide for the body to maintain that, that um, support so that we can have more circulation through the bones and joints. Yes, Justice. The second question was, I need, I, uh, Wendy says, I need a big toe fusion. What would be good exercises for rehabilitation? A big toe what? Um, a big toe fusion. Can you spell that? F-U-S-I-O-S. Oh, that's what I thought. Okay. A big toe fusion. Hmm, another good one. I have to look that up. Um, I'm going to take a guess on that one. You don't want to use your toes initially, <laughs> it sounds like. You, you want to uh, keep things kind of, kind of flat. Rocking side to side, bending up and down at the knee, that can help support the foot while it's healing. If you are having problems with joints in the toes, then the movement up and down can help massage and increase the circulation. And then with your fingers, you can actually massage those areas of the toe. You've opened up circulation. 
the weakest area of circulation in the body is going to be in the lowest extremities because it's the furthest area from the heart. So once you have warmed up that tissue, you got the fluid and the circulation going, then um, add some, some more pressure and circulation in those areas. But good question. Um, another question from Jess is, they want me to be loud. Um, okay. What's, what's the correct position to jump without hurting your knee? Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, and that's, there's one of the advantages of the cellar sizer right there is that you have good support. When you hold your feet, if you're building up your knee, you bend the knee and push them out so that the knee is over the toes. So this is going to help to strengthen that whole area of the body. So it's, but, but you don't want to go like this, you want to go like that. And that will help to strengthen the proper alignment. Yes, Jessica. Lisa Kurt says, thank you both for all the info. Um, question, how, how does so much fasting affect breast tissue? Ah, for good. Women? Yeah, good, um, good question. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. All right. Okay, so breath. Depending on how well endowed you are, you want to definitely wear some support. And they've got the sports bras that you can get uh, that can help, help those breaths from bouncing up and down too much. When Dr. Kenneth Cooper exposed the world to the idea of, of jogging and aerobics and people started running and doing a lot of jogging on the hard surface, they had a lot of, they discovered a lot of problems especially accumulatively, whether it was the abdominal rings in men, the vertebral joints, the, the uterus, the breasts in, in, in women, the heart itself, that pounding impact on knees and joints, accumulatively, according to many doctors, is going to take far more out of the body than it's ever going to give you in return. So we eliminate seven-eighths of that ballistic impact or jar and we harness the energy as the forces of acceleration and deceleration. Well, those forces are all weight bearing. There are protein fibers that run through the, the breast. And when they're supported correctly, those protein fibers, as you're moving them down, they firm up. They actually get stronger. If you hit a hard surface and there's too much movement, you can actually break those protein fibers and then nothing short of surgery is really going to help lift that up again. So um, it's the same thing with prolapse uterus. It says they've got connective tissues that we want to build back up. And so sitting down, sitting back, and doing those movements, the same principle. When you're bouncing up and down, and I can verify, no, this is true, that it can help actually firm up the breasts. So that's a, that's a plus two. Um, Jess Lynn also asked, why do I hear a pop in my right ear every time I jump? A pop in the right ear. Uh, could be jaw related, I don't know. <laughs> but it's something I, um, yeah, something to I possibly check with the doctor if it's bothering you, but it, uh, it's hard to know, it's hard to know. And then Jen Lynn says, is it normal to feel pins and needles on no, it's not, um, unless you have a weakness and the cellar is exposing something that's already there. You just haven't felt it before. So again, wearing a soft soled slipper while you're building up the tissue and the, the support of the foot can be a helpful um, way to, to mitigate that if, if it's a weak area. But it could be indicative of something else as well. But again, solar size is going to help increase that circulation. All right. Um, can a person with multiple sclerosis in a wheelchair use a floor solar sizer or chair with benefit if they got help with a safe transfer? I remember reading about someone else doing the jumping for them with only patient's feet or rear on the trampoline. Do you have any experience with this? You weren't still are very inspiring. Glad to have found you on Facebook. And thank you, Anne. 
Yeah, yeah. In fact, your lymphatic system begins in the lowest extremities and the toes, the fingertips, and other extremities of the body, and they work their way up. So if you have somebody in a wheelchair and you put their feet on the chair, you get a pumping action. Their feet are going to be moving up and down. Well, that, that pumping action is going to take that fluid from the lowest extremities and it's going to start to move it back up toward the heart again so that it, it makes it easier on the heart. You're literally pumping with the heart to move that fluid and there are absolute benefits when you increase that circulation. Now, if you can sit them on the cellar sizer, if they can, are able to hold on to the, the balance bar, you can actually stand behind them and you can also help to bounce them up and down. And their cells don't know the difference whether they're doing it or you're doing it for them. It's still going to give them the benefit. So, good question. Um, we've, and I think I talked about it last time, we've taken people with multiple sclerosis where they were able to stand on it barely and you can stand behind them, put your arms around them and help bounce them up and down. But we've actually had people when they got off were walking with strength again. And we've had customer reviews of people who have gotten out of the wheelchairs and were walking again. So a lot of questions regarding multiple sclerosis we don't have a lot of answers to, but we do know that the moving up and down increases circulation, and is that affecting the brain? Very likely. Is it affecting the, the lymph system all around the brain, increasing circulation? Yeah, we need more research on that, and I've called for that for years. But um, Jess says, what's the best way to jump with or without shoes? Definitely without shoes, if you can, um, and most people can. And the reason is this, shoes are restrictive. Your foot wants to move to support your natural alignment and the different movements and the shoe can prevent that. So shoes, wearing shoes can actually be more harmful and you can, you can feel more pain wearing the shoe than not wearing the shoe. The cellar size of the bones, muscles, ligaments, our feet are supposed to be flexible and shoes are more restrictive. So when we start to cellar size, we may notice little kinks come and go in the foot as the bones and muscles and ligaments start to become more flexi flexible to support your natural alignment. But a great many people with foot problems have been able to get rid of the foot problems while cellar sizing. And again, if you have a particular condition, consult with your doctor or health practitioner or let them know about cellar size and what they think might be most helpful. But again, if you've got Foot issues, sometimes wearing you know, a nice soft soled slipper can give you a little additional support while the foot is adjusting and adapting. All right. Um, 20 minute workout for a beginner. If you go to the Mr. Rebounder app, we've got all kinds of movements and that uh, really is, I, I, am, I am going to appreciate, this thing must have been inspired. Because this, this Mr. Rebounder app, it, 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 we watch television virtually every day. We put it here and we watch the show and it dings in between each movement. And the time just flies by. Often my kids will do more than one, one routine. But you've got, for beginning, you've got all these various different movements to begin with. But then you can create your own routine and you can save it in your my workout. So these are a bunch of routines that I, I created <laughs> that um, I've shared some of these online. But um, you create them, you save them, and then you can go play your own workout. So you've got a lot of flexibility with, uh, with the cellar size for beginning, intermediate, advanced, seniors. Create your own workout. Sorry. Thank you, Justice. So again, beginning, intermediate, well, okay, beginning. You got those routines already pre-made, so you've got over 30 pre-made routines you can pick from. And then you graduate, and then you go to the intermediate section, and then you can go to the advanced section. And that's, um, we've got some really good routines here that are intense. Seniors, you, you can start off beginning and you grow. And again, when you're creating your own workout, you, go, you, you can literally start off with a health or baby bounce, and then you can work the neck and the shoulders, and we're going to talk about the neck in a moment, and you've got all these, you know, you've got all these different programs. Yes? Jess says, what's a healthy routine to follow per day and per week? Well, um, 
it depends on what level you're at. If you've got, um, if you feel pretty good, I would suggest, you know, look at some of the routines that are eight to eight minutes long or, or a little less, a little more. It's, it's, it depends on you. I, um, it's, you've got some great routines depending on what level you're at. So you just pick it based upon, but listen to your body and what you, what you want to do. Yes, Jesse. Um, it looks like many people don't know about the app. Um, oh. David, I mean, Casey says, David, do you have any Mr. Rebounder? Uh, David, do you have the Mr. Rebounder app on the iPad? Yeah. Yeah, you can put it on iPad, Android, a notebook, or a smartphone. And we've even got um, a smartphone holder that we use that will fit right on the balance bar. It's on our website. And you just unscrew it a little bit. And then you can, if you want to watch YouTube or you want to watch your, uh, I got to unscrew it a little bit more. And then you just, you know, you just put your phone in there. It's got a little thing that pops it open. You squeeze it and, and that, uh, that's a nice little device to have too. Um, I got the music stand because I wanted all of you to be able to see. It's hard to see a phone, so <laughs> you can see the app a little easier. And we can too. But um, Jess said, I'm so sorry. Where do we find the routine again? Which routine? Which are there, um, on the Miss Rebounder app, you've got all kinds of routines you can pick from for beginning, intermediate, advanced, and senior, depending on what you want to accomplish. We've got exercises for building muscle. We've got exercise for lo losing weight. We've got a weight loss routine. We've got doctors who have actually sent in some of their routines, and we have those on the Miss Rebounder app as well. We have apps uh, you know, that will address knee problems or the fat eradicator. I mean, that's, you got fat er eradicator number one and fat eradicator number two, and they will eradicate the fat. <laughs> They're intense, but, um, and then you've got overall body health um, programs. There's, there's, there's quite a few. And again, there's 65 different movements that deal with the neck, shoulder, back, hips, and various different issues that you might want to work on. Yes? Um, what is the name of the app? Oh, okay, if you go, <laughs> terrible salesman, aren't I? Go to mrrebounder.com, so MR, and then R-E-B-O-U-N-D-E-R. So MrRebounder.com. That's the app that I designed several years ago. And it's got some good technology. You can actually, you know, I'll talk about it just briefly. Okay. So this, this is why this is fun. This is, it, it really is. It's easy to use. You can pick. Um, so let's go back to the home. Cancel here. And... You can, closer, okay, thank you, Justice. So you can pick, let's pick an advanced routine. You pick an advanced routine, and let's do the fat eradicator. All right, so that, that's got all these different, now this is just basic movements, all designed to work the biggest muscles of the body to oxygenate the body so you lose weight. So this is intense. I mean, it's, it's over, just over 20 minutes long. So it's, it's an intense routine. But you have options here. You can pick your background image. So depending on the mood that you're in, you can be in different countries. You can be in the mountains. You can be in the parks. You can be by the lake. Um, you've got, you know, depending on your mood, you can pick all these various different backgrounds. So it kind of makes it fun. And then you've got workout music. Now, what we do is we mute the music. So we like to watch the television show. But if you want, you can pick, um, you know, these, this is the country type music. Um, so we'll, we'll do that one. And put the save. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the, um, let's go back to you. Count your full. You can put your date of birth, your, your gender. You can pick a male, a female uh, avatar you'll exercise with. I'll show you that in a moment. Or if you're a child, you can actually exercise with a little spaceman or superhero. And you put your weight and your height so you can kind of 
watch your, your progress. Um, and you've got a little achievement section here that will, every time you do it, it kind of changes a color of one of these things until you, you fill it up. Just kind of help keep you motivated. Um, again, so if I pick a routine, a fat eradicator one, I want to go back to options. I want to pick a different background. So let's pick, um, I don't know, let's, let's pick that. <laughs> So we're going to save that background. Changes saved. OK, so now we want to start. And oh, I want to change the, let's change the avatar guy. So go up here. And so we want to put that and save it. So we'll do a little spaceman this time. And this we do for children. So instead of being a couch potato and the idea is that you say okay you can go ahead and watch a tv show but while you're doing it you need to do the app so they do the app while they're watching the show the time goes by like nothing they're enjoying the show they're watching and following along on the different movements and they're getting all the benefits all at the same time so we've got all these different movements here in this particular routine and some of them are the same. There's a lot of jamba runs. The jamba runs are how you lose a lot of weight because it's very intense. You can only do it on a cellar size. It doesn't work effectively anywhere else, and you can't do it on the ground because you'd hurt your back. But um, when you hit start, now you got this little guy here, superhero, and <laughs> you haven't seen that before. <laughs> Say you have a male or a female, but um, if you have the, um, the wireless module, which is an add-on if you can get you put it on the stellar sizer it will count the number of bounces it has an intensity meter it will show you the number of calories you actually burn it's got an algorithm in there so you're going through the different routines and <laughs> jamba run so that again it's it's um it's it depends on what you want to do so if you go back to dance and i'm going to Go back to options, account info. I'm going to choose a male, save that. And you can choose a female too. When you put your gender up here, you have female. And it'll give you some different avatars that you can pick from. And now you go to advance again. And you pick a routine. That's the Dr. Uh, Lynn's interval program, which we had. She loaded. And now you've got another routine. And if I want to fast forward to see the different movements, you can see the right positioning. And so that's the Jamba run. That's pretty intense. But you get the general idea. Thank you for asking. Just, just downloaded the app. Oh, is it really? <laughs> well, welcome. If you have any questions about it, you feel free to give me a call. I'll be here tomorrow morning at night. I really enjoyed this session, guys. You've been very interactive and wonderful to work with. I hope I've shared some things that will motivate you and inspire you to, to reach your greater health potential. We all have one. I'm certainly convinced of that. And I, I think I mentioned maybe last time that, you know, I'm, I'll be 67 in October. And I've been teaching this for 30 years. Now, when I first began, my peers and friends, even my family, they were like, yeah, uh-huh, sure, okay, another one of those things. But 30 years later, I do it every day. And now people are coming up to me and saying, what is it you do? Well, let me tell you. You're going to be in that same position. It's never too late to begin cellar sizing. The, the, we had a lady began when she was 95 years of age. And she was, she showed, she's on our website. We've got her in our customer reviews. Pictures of her running in place. It improved her vision. Her granddaughter was telling me all about how it just changed her life. Um, it's cells don't get old the way we often think they do. They're always replacing themselves. We can replace ourselves with healthier, stronger, more efficient cells. Why not? That's why exercise is so important. Cellular size just takes it to the cellular level. So you're working the thyroid and the adrenals and the endocrine system and your vestibular balance and on and on and on. So, 
Okay, what are the best exercises for loss of curve and neck and also mid-back rounding? And that, that gets us to one of the ones I wanted to talk about. So, with the back, these are the muscles that help hold up our skeletal system. It can't support itself. Can everybody see me okay, Justice? Okay, so when we turn our shoulders out, so instead of being like this, we turn them out like that, we open up the whole rib cage and we open up our back. Now, when we hold this position and we start to bounce up and down, the cells, the muscles, the ligaments, the tendons, everything is now flexing over and over against that alignment to help strengthen that alignment. We've got some great stories of women who have stood, and men, um, but the stories, women are more expressive for some reason. Um, they're standing in front of the closet with a mirror and they're noticing that, you know, they were like this and now they're like this. And one of them said, called her husband and said, look, look how I'm standing, look at this. So yes, it's something we can work on. Now, if we're working with the neck and the back, as we're holding it back, we take our chin and we just pull it in a little bit. So we pull that chin in and that neck moves back. We hold this position a little bit while we're bouncing up and down. And that is going to help increase that curvature in the neck by taking our fingers and putting them on our throat and behind, we can actually help massage the muscles and push that fluid, push that circulation between the vertebral joints to the disc. So they're little circular movements pushing in and up. So circular mo motions pushing in and up. And of course we can help increase the flexibility, go easy on the neck. Because if you haven't done those movements, you, you know, can set you back a little bit. So start off easy. Yes, Justice. Jess just wanted to say, I used to suffer from sinus after jumping it is all gone. Ah, thank you, Jess. Thank you for sharing that. Isn't that great? I love it. Thank you. And then Lisa said, thank you for sharing your expertise, experiences, and enthusiasm. Ah. I much appreciated this session. Oh, well, I did too. You guys have been great. Thank you. I'm, I, and the phone calls today from some of you, I mean, wow just the experiences and and the the encouragement it means a lot so please feel free to share this with other people i want um let's see we we talked about plantar fasciitis let me it's getting late let me go ahead and save some of these others for for next time i want to share one idea with you the cellar size family most of you are I got to tell you, you're, you're special. You really are. You care about other people and you, and you support every, you're supporting people all the time. I want to thank you for that. My son sitting here, I'm so proud of him. He's just turned 15. Oh, come on up here, Justice. Oh, come on. How <laughs> he's got a bandana on his head and it's just here. Come on. Oh, come on, come on. All right, this is my, my 15 year old son. <laughs> and I think this is the year he is going to pass me by. And um, I'm proud of him, but I'll, go ahead. <laughs> but thank you, Justice. And you remember him when he was a lot younger because all my kids were born virtually on the solar side, we've got six of them. And one of the things I always told Justice since he was a young child is when he was going to preschool, I'd say, hey, you're going to make a difference in somebody's life today. Whether it's through a compliment, thank you, pay attention to them, um, pay them a compliment, you know, what, um, just say something nice about them. He has grown up. He's one of the nicest, kindest people I know, and he's my son. And he'll do anything for anybody. He's constantly looking. He's paying compliments. He's speaking out. And the reason I share that is because that's what each one of us here in the solar size family can do. How are we going to make a difference in the world? We make a difference in the world by being a difference in the world. So I want to encourage you when you're going out on a day to day basis, pay somebody a compliment, say hi to somebody, show a kindness, uh, pay a compliment. When you go to the, uh, 
you know, it's, I never really thought anything about it, but when we go to the grocery store and you've got to, you know, the checkout attendant is scanning, say hi to their name, ask them how they're doing, thank you for doing such a good job. There are little things that we can give. One thing that I have learned is that the more you give, the more you receive. I don't know why it works that way, but it really does. So if you're feeling depressed, you're feeling um, discouraged, and life is getting the, you know, challenging you, find a way to give to someone else. When you're giving, you're also receiving. And see how you feel. But more than that, you're the solo size family. And I really believe you're different. And I, I really do. And I think that you make that difference. So thank you. Thank you for being a part of the family. Thank you for letting me be a part of the family. And as I've mentioned in the past with so many, we adopt anybody who's on any rebounder um, into the family. I believe the subtle sizer is, is very efficient because of the way it was designed and built. It doesn't stretch out. It will hold up and it will give you the resistance to give you results. And Chester says there's one more question. So yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But you want to have a good yoga experience? See, yoga treats the body as different movements. It's working different muscle groups, never working the body collectively as a whole. So if you want to have a better yoga experience, solar size first. Every yoga person should do it. I had a yoga instructor. She was a yoga instructor for 3,000 people at an event. And you, if you go to our YouTube and you look up solar size strength and balance test, I think is what it is, it's, it will show me on stage with a group of people. And to the right of your screen, there'll be a, a lady who is a yoga instructor. And to the left of the screen was a bodybuilder. And I challenged them in their natural strength and balance. And of course, a yoga instructor, it's very important to have good balance. But you cannot achieve the kind of balance in yoga that you can if you incorporate cellar size with it. You just can't do it. Because the cellar sizer is treating the body collectively as a whole, so it becomes strong and balanced as a whole. So you'll have, again, a better yoga experience. Well, when I went to test her in her strength and balance, she failed, and she, she, but she was, she's a darling. She wanted to prove me wrong, and you could see it. She, you, you see the intensity in her face. So I encourage you to go watch this. It's real. And she would, you know, fall over, indicating imbalances in the body. And I got her on the solar sizer, night and day difference. And everybody, herself included, and the audience, they, all, they could all see it. So yes, yoga is great. Pilates is great. There's a lot of great activities out there. Martial artists, I tell them the same thing. Mar in martial arts, the stance and, and it, the balance is very, very important. But you can't get it the way you can when you solar size. And so I've challenged masters, great, I mean, they're very, very good at what they do. What I did was simply take them to another level so that they're going to even be better at it. And that's true with any activity. When you're exercising in a balanced state or in an altered position, you're exercising, think of this, you're exercising in an altered position. You become strong in an altered position. So it's harder to throw you off balance. In other words, if I'm working my core and I'm jogging in place, but I want to tilt a little bit so that I put more of the weight right there, then I'm going to become strong in this position over time. The average person doesn't because the average person never exercises in an altered position. Not, not really. So kicking out like this, I become strong in that position. If I want to kick out side to side, and this is going to help improve strength, it's get, it gets to the point where you're hard to throw off balance compared to the average person. Again, those are just more benefits that people get with cellar size. And Dr. Brian Geddes, uh, he, who's now training pickleball players, he knows that. He's harnessing that. And he's proving himself very effective in that whole industry. And I, I really commend him for the work that he is doing as well. So thanks, everyone.
make a difference, be a difference. Remember, you don't have to work out when you can play in. Play on the Solarizer. It'll work on you. Enjoy its benefits. Share it with others, and we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you.